30 seconds left, Lowry somehow gets wide open. What's going on everybody? We're playing in Toronto. This is one beautiful court, probably one of my favorites in the game. And the Toronto Raptors jersey as well is one of my favorites. I went retro with myself, with the Clippers jersey. So retro against retro. My opponent has Kyle Lowry and Jimmy Butler as his best players. So you already know this is going to be a tough defensive battle. We played him earlier in the season. The video is up on my channel when I was at home. So now we're playing away. So playing against him is very tough because again, he has Lowry and Butler. They're always chasing Lillard down. So I got to run a lot of plays to get him open. Just like this play right there. And I got to set a lot of screens for Lillard because if I keep trying to take Lowry and Jimmy Butler off the dribble one on one, it's gonna cause him to lose a lot of stamina, and it's much easier for to for him to stop Damian off the dribble. Kyle Lowry uses a screen. He greens up the three. So, like I said, with Damian Lillard, I'm trying to mix up my looks, giving him pump fakes, jab steps, calling for screens, try to mix up my offense because I don't want to be too predictable. Because he has a great defensive team as well, so you gotta mix it up. He's going in the post on this possession. We played great defense. Now we're gonna go on the break with Mike Conley. So while the first quarter is winding down, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have about 15 more videos for season one. I looked at my hard drive and all the recordings I have, all the gameplays. And I want to release all of them before PS5 drops, so I have to upload at least two videos a day to make it happen. Actually, I think I have more than 15 because there's also the playoffs, so I think I have about 18 or 19, I'm not too sure. So I'll try my best to up upload at least two gameplays per day. All I'm asking is just continue dropping the love, the feedback, I really appreciate it. You guys have been killing it for the likes, the comments and everything. So it really means so much to me. I'm gonna grind even harder. Drop more videos. <laughs> Can't wait for PS5 to drop. Because that's gonna be so exciting. 2K21 next gen. And one thing I hate about 2K21 is what you saw right there. How the player just dribbles off the ball. Off the leg of people. It can happen so many times. Where the player dribbles the ball off the leg. And it's a really good ball handler too. I don't know how it keeps happening on 2K. They really need to fix that because great ball handlers shouldn't be losing the ball like that. So the second quarter is winding down. Damian Lillard gets fouled in the paint. We are up by 7. This is another great defensive possession. We get the steal. We're going all the way. We're going to find... Terrence Davis, he's actually a Raptor in real life, so <laughs> I wonder how Terrence Davis feels playing against his former squad. So nice move right here, pull up midi. So we have a nice comfortable lead. Winding down the second quarter, we're going to try to make it a double digit basketball game and give it into the post. He brings the double, Mike Conley's wide open, but I miss it. The shooting on 2K21 is really tough. Especially from the three-point range. If you played 2K21 religiously or just <laughs> in general, you guys would know already that three-point shooting. The developers, you know, they tweaked it. They changed it. So unless you're a really, really great three-point shooter, you won't be knocking down, con down consistently. So in the third quarter, this is where he made his run. Lowry needs another three-point shot. And I'm going to try to keep stay in the game because, you know, he has a home court advantage so he can build momentum. And if he builds momentum, it could go bad for me. So another screen play right here. Mike Conley gets the and one. Makes up for the three-point miss in the second quarter. Nice lob play, backdoor cut. I try to bring the post here, but my guy can't pass the basketball. I don't know why that was an easy pass. So we turn the basketball over. He's going coast to coast. Auto Porter from the corner and he takes the lead. But he won't have the lead for much longer as Damian Lillard <laughs> gets the basket in the fourth. 
He's calling his own number. So in the fourth quarter, I always try to get Damian Lillard going because he has a good badges to take over the game. He has clutch shooter. And if I could get Damian Lillard going in the fourth quarter, it's going to be really hard to stop him because he has shot creator takeover. As you can see right here, Damian Lillard just knocked down a three. And he's talking smack to the fans. Look at that. <laughs> That's what I love. In this game, when you knock down deep threes or big shots of Dame, he always does these mean looks. <laughs> nice defensive possession right here. So you got to step it up defensively because in the third quarter, he was scoring a lot of baskets. A nice double screen play right here. Lillard with the dunk, baby. Lowry cuts in the paint. Finds Jimmy. So he's trying to attack me off the dribble once again. Jimmy Butler with a tough left-handed layup. I thought that was going to miss, but Jimmy Butler has the badges too. Nice play right here. Going in the paint. Damian Lillard gets the dunk. Damian Lillard right to left crossover. Finds Andre Drummond. His defender didn't know what to do there. That was a nice play. I'm going to predict Lowry driving, but Damian Lillard gets bumped off and he gets the layup. It's a four-point game. Watch this right here. Jimmy Ball is going to get crossed. Damian Lillard would take over. Woo! Actually, I think he fell off the screen. That wasn't a cross, but I got a perfect release. That's why I try to get Damian Lillard going early in the fourth. So that this happens. <laughs> he adjusted his defense. He ends up bringing a double team on Damian Lillard. Triple team in the paint. Yo, they're all over Dame now. That should have been a foul right there. Jimmy Butler and Kyle Lowry are taking over in the fourth. In the post, Butler on Lillard gets the green release. We're going to set a double screen right here. Covington pops out. Wide open three, take my time, and we made it. <laughs> Kyle Lowry gets in the paint again. Nice finish right there. So I know Jimmy's going to go in the paint. I brought the double team right here. Great closeout defense or else Jimmy would have had a layup. He's calling for a screen. We're going to bring the help again. He tries to feed it inside. We're there. I'll live with Ibaka taking a hook shot. I'll live with that. I'd rather have Ibaka than Jimmy Butler or Lowry taking shots. Lowry again gets bumped off by Shumpert. That's one of the defensive settings I did. I switched Shumpert on Lowry because Lowry was killing Dame. We only had a few seconds. That was a decent shot. Miss. So I took out Joe Harris for Shumpert for defensive purposes. 30 seconds left. Lowry somehow gets wide open. He misses. Lowry misses the open three. We knocked down both free throws, but he still has a chance. The game's not over yet. He has Jimmy and Lowry, so nothing is safe. Calling for a screen. Lowry from the same spot as before. Tries again. He misses. So that's game. A very tough game. Defensive matchup. Lowry missed two shots that could have won the game. So we escaped Toronto with a victory. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.